Hello everyone, my name is Dave Potner. Welcome to your fourth Firebase tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be seeing, um, we'll be uh, kicking off with user authentication. So this is the part that most people are really interested in since Firebase handles all your user authentication, banning, user management, um, your emails and everything for you, password reset, everything. Uh, many people really want to um, use this feature. So we, we go ahead and then one more time, um, this is the user panel, panel and um, here you will have, eventually have a list of um, the, the users that are registered and, and what you can do. Also, um, here you can choose your sign-in method, like in the past tutorial, we enabled only one, which is um, the user has to enter their email and password. Subsequently, we'll see how to enable these ones where user has to um, use their Google sign-in buttons and old buttons, you know, Facebook, Twitter, and stuff like that. Uh, you can enable them uh, according to this app. I still have them disabled. If you want to enable them, you click here and um, click on enable here. This way, it comes live, but I don't want it yet. So we we'll use the basic one that works for everybody, which is um, the email and the password. There is also this section. If you scroll down, there is a section of this screen that says direct domains. These are um, these are the domains that have access uh, to register and manage users. So if you are using Firebase from your, your website, for instance, your website URL should be here. Local host means, for instance, if you are using a mobile phone, um, the address that is accessing this will be um, local host. Or you are designing from your server on your system, your local production. Alright, you can use here to add new domain. When you click it, uh, this guy pops up at the bottom and you enter the domain here but we don't want to add a new domain okay um usually um firebase by default wouldn't allow your users to um, register multiple accounts once someone has registered with a certain email um, firebase wouldn't allow them to register with a second uh, with the same email again so if you want to reconfigure how that works you can change it from here that's the last option that is available on this panel. So um, that being settled, there are email templates like I've shown you before. These are where you set up um, what messages the user receives. So for instance, um, email address verification. If you enable that user can, uh, user has to verify their email address after they register on your site. This is the email that will get delivered to them, which means you can edit this email just click on the this to edit everything the email that they will see the, the message they will see and then you save okay and there's password reset when they want to get a new password this is um, the email they will receive and there is um when they want to change their email all right um, so the first thing uh, we'll do is to manually add a user from this panel then we'll go over to our code and uh, proceed with adding, writing a, a custom um, code that will add it. So to add a new user, use a new user to this panel, I'll click on add user and um, I'll enter the email of the user. Um, of course it's Gmail. Um, I'll enter the password of the user and um, I'll enter add user. You notice that a whole lot of other fields will be generated for me. Um, as you can see, the email is here and the password is hidden from everybody. Even the admin cannot see the password. And um, the date I registered is here. Um, Firebase monitors if I have signed in before and um, there is the user ID. In your MySQL, it should have been 1. And um, if you register another one, it will be 2. But here, it uses a hashed string for your uh, password. As you can see, it can dis display 500 um, um, users. Okay, as you can see, um, 
once it's beyond 500 you have to search for them using um, the search bar that will appear then also um, you have to you can decide how many users show up per page and um, you can navigate the pages as we already have 50 users here you can use it to navigate all right that as uh, now we've settled that we have to um, copy a certain code to install firebase on our system we'll just um remember i clicked on this and this guy showed up so i'll just copy it this basically says hey um get the firebase file and uh, this is our initial configuration this api key is the api key for me and um, this domain is firebase app uh, this is the firebase test that we have there the current app we're working on and um, this is database URL and this is the um, the storage where um, people can store images on my if they were using the app to upload images and videos and stuff like that that's app spot okay so we copy or you just click copy I just copied it and uh, click close and we have to get to our, our file remember we um, we had a we had a bootstrap we downloaded the bootstrap team let me just get back to the um, folder so we downloaded the bootstrap team and and um, look at it you remember this folder that we saw in the last video and we uploaded it so we it's time now to start changing it so we downloaded this I'll right click and um, open with code lobster or whatever editor you're using so right here we now have this as you can see this is the default page this is the head section everything here i've not touched everything here this is just bootstrap okay so what we'll do is to come right here and um, right click and paste what we copied so what this basically says is hey um get firebase here and then this is the configuration and this um initialize the app then the next thing you would have noticed if your eyes were sharp is that i have jquery installed jQuery is a JavaScript framework. You, if you wish, you, you shouldn't use it, but I like using jQuery, so I got it installed. To install jQuery, um, we just visit jQuery.org. Yeah, we just visit um, jQuery.org and uh, type jQuery, jQuery.com. Sorry. Then we go to download straight up to download and. Um, we get down to this place uh, yeah there are many ways to install it as you can see obviously but we just get down to just choose any one of these i chose google um, cdn then the page opens exposing um, jquery urls if you want to install jquery or add jquery to your app you just copy one of these and uh, paste right in your code which is exactly what i did just paste here as you can see is it is exactly the same thing okay so um we have jquery installed we have firebase installed so let's get to start writing codes all right um to, if we get back to our form remember this form this is a dummy form that uh makes a user login and sign up it has an email address field input field it has a password input field and then you remember me and then it has a uh, a button to click submit let's just check out the the um, the page this is this is the page email password remember me and um, sign up so what we'll do right here is to um, to link this to firebase okay so let's get down to code 